Hi folks, I'm Rohin Vara, Cloud Solution Specialist from Varatech, and I'm going to be showing you the hardware setup that we're putting in for our client. Now many of you will be gearing back up to return to your offices and you'll probably be thinking about giving your hardware a refresh. I think this setup is perfect for any office environment. It will provide your team with the performance you require. It is slick and sleek, as well as being extremely power efficient and cuts down on the number of cables that are required. So for this particular client, I've set them up on a three-year lease deal done directly through us as we are FCA registered and this way they don't need to spend capital up front. They can also write off 100% of the payment as an expense, which then means it gets offset against their tax. And most importantly, at the end of the term, we will upgrade their machines so they will never have outdated, obsolete and insecure hardware again. I've recommended this particular machine with this setup to the client because they want to run their machines with two screens and a couple of the machines with three screens. And this is the neatest, most efficient way I've found so far and you'll see why in just a few moments. We're going to be running the Dell Optiplex 3090 Ultra with two 24 inch Dell UltraSharp screens and a Dell wireless keyboard and mouse. The spec of the Optiplex is an i5 11th gen dual core processor with 8 gig of DDR4 RAM and 256 gig NVMe SSD. The screens are 24 inch ultra sharp models with display port over USB-C capability and I'll explain why that's important very shortly. Uh, the screens also come with display port 1.4 TPM enabled in and out ports, HDMI port, Ethernet port and four USB 3.1 ports. So I will go ahead and unbox these and we can have a look at them in a little more detail. So in the box we get a stand and base. Okay, we get a visa mount adapter and we get the Optiplex itself. Obviously with the power cord and you do actually get this um, plate on the back that you can change uh, for the stand okay also we've got um, the wireless keyboard and mouse here too this is the screen itself okay kept the uh, the protective cover on the top I'll just flip it over so you can see that there okay and in the box you do get the display port cable, you get the USB-C cable and you get the power cable there. Now Dell have included the Visa mount adapter uh, so you're not tied to using a Dell screen which I think is very good of them actually uh, because they could have forced business users to spend money on new monitors especially if monitors are not that old. Um, from what I understand, um, you can put up to a 32 inch screen on this stand, um, if I'm not wrong. Uh, but typically, business and office users tend to use anywhere between 24 inch and 20 foot 7 inch screens on average. So this is uh, more than capable of taking them uh, sizes. The Dell Optiplex 3090 Ultra is tiny. So small, in fact, that it fits into the supplied monitor stand. If I just turn this around here, you can see just on the side at the bottom here, we've got an eject button, and that slides out, and it will fit right in there. Now, Dell have really thought about the workplace and the need to remove cluttered wires. Normally, if you're running a normal sized desktop PC with two screens, you'd have three power cables, then you'd have the cables to connect your screens, um, maybe an Ethernet cable, and if you aren't using the wireless keyboard and mouse, you'd also have the wires for them, plus any other wires for speakers or external drives. So you're looking at anywhere between maybe five and 10 wires cluttering your desk or underneath it, which is a nightmare. So because of the size of the Ultra, it comes shipped with a, 40, uh, a 65 watt power supply, um, which is the same power as uh, an average laptop. Now, if you remember, I mentioned that I had supplied this client with 24 inch ultra sharp screens with USB-C over DisplayPort capability. Now the reason for this, and the clever thing with the Ultra, 
is that if you are running a monitor with USB-C over a display port, you can power the Ultra using the screen rather than the power supply in the box. Now Dell actually recommend that this is the best way to set it up. In effect, if you're only using one screen, you will only have the one power cable. The Ultra can support up to four screens and Dell recommend using screens that are TPM enabled like these Ultra Sharps, as this is the easiest way to hook them up. Essentially, you're daisy chaining them without the need for the extra display ports on the Ultra itself. So the Ultra is not actually a sealed unit. If I just pop it open like so. There we go. Okay, it is upgradable and all the parts can be replaced. So as you can see here, we've got the fan, we've got the RAM here, we've got the Wi-Fi module just at the bottom, and then that's the NVMe. So that's 256 gig right there. Um, so I think this is quite important in a business setting, especially if any of these components fail, then they can be easily replaced. Um, or if you simply want to upgrade the components, then this is easily doable too. So you can just see if I lift up the flap, that's the memory module there. That's an eight gig memory module. Okay. The other slot is free. And um, so the max memory that the Ultra can take is up to 64 gig. And the max size of the NVMe is one terabyte at the, two, at the 2230 form factor. So I'll just put this cover back on. Okay, and it's just as simple as that. So the connections, okay. So from left to right, we've got the display port here. We've got two USB 3.2. We've got ethernet port. We've got the power supply port there. And then we've got the USB-C um, slot right there. Okay, on the other side, on one of the sides, we've got the Kensington lock um, right there. And then on the other side, we've got the uh, headphone jack. And we've got a couple more um, USB-A slots right there. Those are 3.1, 3.2 um, ports there. And just above that, we've got the HDD light as well. So let me show you how it all fits together and how it all looks when it is all set up. Okay, so the way it all fits together, we took the back cover off just before and essentially all we're going to do, we're going to just pop this off here, which is the, the grill. Okay, just pop that off there. We'll take the Ultra, okay, and Essentially, it will just slide straight in. Okay, take the grill and we'll just clip it back on. That's it. There we go. And we'll take our USB C cable here from the screen. And then all we will do. So what we're going to do, if you can just see that there, the USB-C uh, slot is just there. So I'll just get this plugged in here. And we will just clip it into the wire groove there. Okay. If you had a screen if you're using one of your own screens for instance and it was a display port then yeah you plug it into there um, but if you are using the display port then you would need to plug in the power supply um, but because we're using USB-C we don't need to use the power supply as it will take it straight from the screen over there okay so all we then do just take the wire feed it through here And 
and this will just clip on. Like so. And there you go. That is the Ultra in the stand. Just turn that around so you can see it. There it is, as discreet as you like and fits nice and neat into the stand. What we'll do now, I'll go and attach a screen to that and um, get the keyboard and mouse hooked up so you can see exactly how it looks um, fully set up. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> now, um, what I did actually have to do is, if you can just see that there, I had to install the visa mount that was in the uh, box with this stand. Because uh, these are slim screens, uh, the actual plate wasn't fitting, it was a bit too thick, but the visa mount has done the job. Um, we've managed to put it on there and secure that screen properly. Okay, the other thing as well, the dongle for the keyboard and mouse, I've put it on the side, but normally what we'd do, we'd put it on the underside, uh, sorry, on the inside, where it's um, not going to be seen. Um, so we're just testing at the minute. So normally we just go on the inside there. So what I'm gonna show you now is how we would hook the screens up, okay? So this is, a, this is the, uh, so let me just turn, let me just turn this this way so you can see the ports, okay? So I've already plugged in the power cable right here, all right? And this is the USB-C cable coming from the Optiplex from the Ultra inside, and I've plugged it straight into, um, into the USB-C uh, port on the screen. Now, I mentioned before that there are two uh, display ports on the screen. So you've got the in port, and then you've got the out port. As you can see here, the out port is covered um, uh, so that you know don't get them mixed up really. So in this instance, what we are going to do, we're going to connect from the out port here. Alrighty. So essentially what we do into there like that okay and then the other end we will just get it plugged in to this one here and that's it i've put the power cable in uh, on this other screen here okay so that's it that's all you need to have both the screens hooked up okay and what I'll do, I'll, uh, let me just turn them around. I'll turn the machine on so you can see exactly how it's working. Okay, here we go. So set them up now, uh, put all the wires in that need to go in, um, ready to turn on. As you can see, just from looking at that, yeah, you can't really see any wires trailing behind. Yes, you can see the ones that are going into the screens, uh, just uh, the one on the left, but I'll show you now behind um, and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So I've left the protective covers on, as you can see here. Okay, so just for, just for this, okay, you can see we've got the wires connected in the back there, we've got the USB, um, we've got the display port there, we've got the USB-C just behind it. And then we've got the power um, power cable there, and same on the other one, except it's just display port and then the power cable there. All right. So all I've done, I've just wrapped these um, just over for now. Uh, when I do go on site, I'll uh, tie them up properly, um, and um, they won't get in the way. But the important thing here to see is, so can you see this cable? That's the power cable. And then the other one, that's the power cable there. And there we go, it's just two plugs, two plugs, okay? So the power button is on the top here. So let's just power it on. Okay, 
Okay. Turn the other machine. Help if I turn this one on. And there we have it. A two screen setup with only two power cables. We've got the keyboard and mouse just there. Very little wires. Okay. Um, and that's it, that's the Optiplex 3090 Ultra with two 24 inch USB-C screens and wireless keyboard and mouse. Like I said, only two power cables are needed and the desk looks clutter free. It gives you more space to work, uh, especially if space is at a premium. Um, and as you can also see there, easy to move around in case of an office move. And yes, you can have this set up at home too, uh, as I know many struggle with space at home. So, if you want this set up in your office, then please drop me a message. I'll leave our contact details in the comment section. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thank you for watching and I hope I've provided you, provided you with some valuable information. My name is Rohan Vara from Varatech. Thank you very much.